Guess what? I got a Discord server! And we're live! Welcome back to the discussion round! I'm hosting again this week, and this week, it's special! We got the VR episode! Welcome back to the discussion <laughs> yeah, you are really embarrassing. Uh, so, it's fine. Don't listen to Pizza G. Ah, Pizza G is out here. It is me, so, the Lord of Salt. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I shut have up, Pizza G. Literally, literally. Like, you wearing a freaking blanket? Yeah. Yeah. What I'm are you? Like, what are you? This is coffee. <laughs> you look like a peasant. Like a peasant I under mean, a bridge. Not necessarily. I could be a lord. You don't know. <laughs> you must be the lord of poor things. Damn. Oof. Damn. Bob Bird. All right. So, what are we gonna talk about? Uh, I think believe everyone wants to jump into the meat and potatoes this week of uh, toast and bacon leaving Intrepid Studios. We're hopping straight into that, and then we'll get to our veggies later. If we have time. So we're going to talk about the negative things first. It's Salty. Well, let's not frame it negative. Yeah, it doesn't it have to be. It doesn't have to be framed negatively. Yeah, but like, so like this is... Bad, but it's not negative. Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. We gotta try to behave. So yeah. This is the positive. Please just start with, with bacon's left. Yeah, I mean bacon left. Let's let's just say it sucks. Toast lie. So the toast yeah. left before uh, they did a bit, they did an announcement saying like, hey, we got this new we got new people coming in to fill toast role. Um, uh, yeah. So we got people coming in to fill toast role. Toast is leaving the studio for reasons. Uh, they never said, right? I don't believe they said. So, well, they never said they really said what the reasons are. That I have you as BCG Lord of Salt. Lord I, mean, I imagine she just got a better offer somewhere. I would imagine so too. It's one of the, like, yeah. I mean, she left the industry, right? Yes, I think that's what I recall. Okay, so it's. Probably either better opportunity. Okay, then it also could be just. Like, hey, I, th I think she went to something that she's more passionate about. Yeah. I mean, it's it's people leaving a studio is fine as long as it's on good terms. It happens all the time. Yeah, it happens all the time. Yeah. The whole reason the the bacon thing is such a big thing that everyone's talking about is because that we have a face to put to it. Uh. Like, I, 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 Jeff leaving. Yes, Jeff is a lead. Like, I got like one of the, like, like a big lead, and you probably wouldn't know more about that. Like, you would hear more about that, like him leaving. But, like, like this happens all the time. And, uh, with, with Bacon and everybody, and, like Matt Broom and, like, everybody else that's left over the years, the reason that these are so impactful to the community and the community talks about it so much is because of how transparent. Intrepid is, and like we put faces to things, and so like, and we'll talk about this later on, more more when we get to the actual like topic of bacon leaving, and going through this this thing that was posted. Um, bacon even talks about it of like all the environmental stuff. Like we were kind of attributing to him, like the community was kind of attributing to him when it's not just him; it it's an entire team working on this stuff. Well, also, I mean, if he was a lead, he might have been a more man managerial role where he was managing the team, and that was where a chunk of his time was going. So, not saying he wasn't doing any work, but if he was a lead, and I don't know how a lead artist works, but in other roles, that usually means that you spend more time uh, with the people below you that you're managing. I mean, okay, uh, from what we read in his goodbye letter, it mostly just seems it was a lot of stress for him. Yes. Which I know, which I heard from experience that that can really like, you know, be harmful for a long period of time. 
and he's been with Intrepid from the start. Uh, he attributes, like, he says he's been in the project like six years now. Uh, yeah, he says that, like, there's there's three reasons here that, like, why he left. Number one, yes, uh, Amazon. Like, so, like, I guess we didn't mention that. He's left Intrepid to go to Amazon Games. So, just to throw it out, out, out there. Uh, the three reasons he left are, one, yes, Amazon paid him a good chunk of, ca- chunk of cash. Two, he's, uh, with Intrepid, he was a lead uh, artist, where over there he's a senior artist. There, it's, it's less stressful. Uh, like, he's not in charge of like all this big thing. He's not having to think about the project 24-7. And number two, it, with Intrepid, he had to commute there for two plus hours. And over, like with Amazon, he can do it remotely. Wait, the commute was two and a half hours? Two plus hours. Total. Two like plus. Two hours or something. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't know if I don't know. I don't know if that's that's uh, the way he says it. It says he just says two plus hours. So it could have been two plus there and two plus back. I don't, I, we don't know. Okay. He said it was dealing with traffic. Yeah. But um, yeah. With Amazon, he's he's remote. He can work from home. Uh, says that he can. Uh, we're, we're talking about this. We're just gonna scroll down to the park. Um. He can, uh, he's, he's not thinking about the project 24 7 anymore. He's, um, Actually, we're quiet, you okay? We're quiet, yes. Talk some more. Ta-da-da. Hello, hello. I can I mean, turn. It sucks. It just, just sorry, it just, it just, it just sucks to see bacon leave. Yeah, like let's let's not be like yeah, you know it sucks. No, the guy it, was a great guy. We had, we had him on the podcast several times. He is like from just talking to him behind the scenes. The guy is just awesome, right? And and it's, I don't know. Just I I be honest like... on 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 the one side. I I I'm not. I'm pretty sure Stephen tried everything he could to make him stay. But I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I but mean, also, if Amazon Studios, I believe, has other people from um, Daybreak. What was Daybreak before it was Daybreak? Um, uh, Daybreak was Day- Daybreak. Daybreak Studios was Sony making Online. EverQuest. Yeah, so it was. Yeah, so oh. entertainment. Uh, I've re- like watching the New World videos. I've recognized some faces, so I think they they have some people from. Daybreak that uh, Bacon knows. So I wonder if that's also like going to work with some old employees. Mm-hmm. I'm throw this out there. It sucks for or any worker, employee sorry. that worked for years in Intrepid for a very long time to leave because we've like we've been on this journey for multiple years. Now uh, it's been how many years? Them six years. Like. Like I said, going back and forth. Like I said, the reason that sucks is just because of the like the transparency that we have with the project, and you can put a face. Yeah. You, you see, Bacon. Like we've had him. Like like PCG said, we've had him on the podcast. We've talked to him. He was part of the, like like a lot of the earlier live streams and stuff like that before COVID. They would have him on there to talk, like like talk, and like he was a big part of the community. And we have a face to put to him, so that's why it sucks that he's leaving. Like that's why it sucks probably more that he's leaving yeah. to us than it would for a normal project. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Uh, but I, I like BCG did did say like we we and I, I wanted to bring up we've had him on the podcast. We know that like uh he's into like other pro like other projects and stuff like that. So this probably frees up his time. Like it's not like and like I don't I don't believe there was any like ill will. Uh, towards intrepid or anything. It, it's honestly just like a, a mental health thing and better and better situation for him overall. It's also like he spent six years at intrepid, so yeah. At some point, like he kind of want to move on. Um, I don't think it, it sucks for yeah the people for us, but like it makes sense for him. Z is the audio better? Didn't wait. Peter also left, right? No, I think Peter's no? still hmm. um, 
in a like project management role? Because I asked yes, Gordon, when when because I didn't know that Toast left as well. Um. So everyone is super quiet. Yesterday, I asked who else left, and somebody said Peter left as well. So I might have to check on that. It just, you know, it, it just, it just, uh, <laughs> nah, it just, it just sucks. Because now, like, you know, Bacon was always like, yeah, Bacon confirmed, and Bacon this, and Bacon is awesome, we need more Bacon, no, 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 what do we have left? PCG. Is it suck because you won't have it as uh, bacon anymore? Bacon done that anymore? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> are you that hungry? No, it's no. Let, let me let me put it this way. Let me put it this way, and and you can actually you can go and suck it if you don't agree with me. Honestly, like like Intrepid does the whole transparency thing, which is like yay, woo. But on the other hand, and this is what, like, really like, you know. I think Intrepid does a lot better than others. Till now, they had all these characters, you know, representing the studio. Like, you know, Steven, Bacon, Jeff, Peter. And I feel like as time goes on, we get, we, like, we're losing that type of, like, relationship to the developers. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can kind of. And also, like, anyone... So, I think there's... I don't know. I've met a few more of them since I went to the PAXs. But it's also... Anyone new who kind of comes on and, like, we didn't meet, it's hard to get... Hard to really know them since we... Before, we were a smaller group. So it was easier for us to, like, talk to them and stuff. Now we've become so... It's so big. It's hard to get that closer connection. It's more of a parasocial relationship kind of thing. True. I don't know what I could do to increase your volume anymore, and you guys are hitting. But I, according to the, like the the thing, you should be fine. I don't, I'm, I'm not. Is anyone else watching That's the stream? Me wait. Oh no. Let me see. I haven't changed yeah, anything sorry. since last time. Why? What's the issue? She like Z says we're quiet. Everyone's know. quiet except for me. I wonder if we become quiet when. No, I don't know. I. It sounds like I can hear myself. Test, test. How do I sound? I sound beautiful. I can she... hear myself too. Yeah, uh... we might be just quiet. You, but uh, do you guys sound like like I don't think it's just Z. Like Z, Z says she she can only hear like she like she can like. But you guys think you sound fine on the stream? I mean, test. I sound awesome all the time, and that's a fact. I mean, I sound fine. I can hear you guys fine. And you didn't change anything, right? No, nothing's changed since last time. I've, I've actually, like, now that she said that, I've, I have all of you up to 200. Z, try to refresh. All right, so we're moving on from the bacon thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm messing with audio stuff. Uh, so... We have so I, I so bacon and toast left. Not much to say about toast. We find out what I let a lot to say about bacon. Um, but moving on from that, we have uh, in terms of news, the griefing thread on the forums, and then um, the cosmetics, and then a whole bunch of non newsy topics that are just. Oh, we already talked about the cosmetics. Not this month. I say we talk about the grieving thing. No, Just because you're tired of talking about cosmetics. I am so fucking tired of talking about cosmetics. Nah. 
What to do? I think the so, consensus is pretty close, where it's like if you're repeatedly kill, killing someone to just waste their time, you have no benefit to yourself besides just yeah, wasting the other person's time. You did com. You were like one of the first people to comment on this uh, on this thread, I believe. Um, from what I've seen, uh, yeah, I think I I got in there first, um, followed by Carthus. But I don't know, reading what other people have said, with like some exceptions of people who just think like PvP in a game that has PvP is grief. I like, I, mean, I don't know. So, here's my thing on the people against consensual PvP and stuff like that. I was like, the whole consensual, consensual PvP thing, and like, every, like all this like, like a lot of the talk that goes on in the forums and sometimes in the Discord, but mostly on the forums is like, Know the game you are being a part of. Like, like you don't play a survival. You don't buy a survival game and say, "Oh, I hate all these survival mechanics." Oh, I'm titled. I don't like. I don't like the fact that like that I have to drink water, or I don't, or I don't like the. You buy. I like, know the game that you're buying into. Don't like. Don't be surprised that AOC has. A uh, open world PvP, and like, why are you try? I like, why are you trying to change that? Why are you trying to change a very core aspect of the of the game? Uh, can you guys? Can you guys go for? Can you guys go first? And I'm gonna rant towards the end. I'm gonna read off what it says. What it says. We can, we can kind of like uh, give our opinions on it. Maybe go through some other things. Uh, what do you consider acceptable behavior in an MMO uh, or a PvP based situation? And where do you draw the line at griefing? That is that. Yeah. Uh, keep an eye out for the. Yeah, that's just another thing. So griefing. What do you consider like? Acceptable behavior in PvP and uh, MMOs. Stackerson, you you already commented on the uh, on the thing. You want you want to basically like say what you've what you, what you said for it. I basically said what I I just said was it's like repeatedly killing someone to just waste their time um, with no benefit to yourself. I kind of put in that second part because I could see there might be times where some like there might be situations where you do benefit from it. So, like, if the person isn't, like, trying to leave the situation, then you might be forced. But, uh, yeah, it's especially, like, spawn camping when there's nothing to gain from it. Um, on yes. the other side, I kind of want to consider stuff like karma bombing to be uh, another form of griefing. Where, like, the karma system I don't think is designed so that you can just give... Like, it's supposed to deter PvP, but at the same time... Part of the PV reason we have PvP is to fight over resources. So if you are intentionally going back to a spot and try to take resources from someone who has killed you, I think it, to coax them to kill you again to give them an increased penalty, I believe that is an, uh, like the other side of the coin of uh, griefing. I could see that. So I, I try. I one hundred percent like uh, just. Kill like killing a new person that's like a thousand levels underneath you, or a like level one versus a level uh, fifty. That's you, like that's griefing. Uh, killing somebody repeatedly uh, with yes, no I gain I whatsoever. So okay. I want to cuss that one. Thing. Okay. Um, I think there can be a situation. Yes, if you're just going into the new friendly zone and they're doing nothing. Yes, that's like you're probably just wasting their time. But if it's a situation, like, we don't want a situation where people are using low levels for scouts. And, oh, you can't kill me because I'm low level. So that's why I don't think... Just oh, low yeah. Level, yeah, 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 yeah. If they are literally just leveling, and they're they're minding your own business, and your only reason to kill them is just to waste their time. 100%. I think that's part of the karma bombing thing you were talking about. You were talking about. It was like... Using a level one alt to go scout an area because it's level one and because of like the, the corruption system punishes you more for killing a low level versus a equal level. You would like that, like that's just a way to get around the kind of but that's that's car bombing in a way to get around the corruption, try to get trying to get around well around the corruption system. 
or use the corruption system in a way that it's not meant to be used. Um, I guess that is the core of griefing, is using mechanics against their intended use. In, like, an obvious way. Like, we, we don't have open PvP just so you can go and, like, terrorize low levels. Yeah. So interrupt you, go on. No, no, you, uh, you, 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 you're a good point. Um, just killing somebody, like, like, killing them in spawn point or something like that, just to, like, intentionally troll them, try to get them to quit the game, uh, or just get them frustrated because you think it's funny. Uh, that's that's also griefing. If you're doing, if you're just killing somebody to get to get to get their resources, and they're just going back and farming more resources, like you're you're playing the game how it's supposed to be. Like you're you're getting you're killing them for resources. You're you're getting you're probably getting a corruption if they're not fighting back. But that's just part of the game. Like that's part of you're taking that corruption hit. That's not that's not them griefing you. They're getting something out of killing you. They're playing the game how it's meant to be played. Um. Anybody have different opinions? Faisal, what's your what's your thoughts on this? Like, well, you guys said, that, like, it's all sound makes sense, hundred percent. But like, the only thing that I'm like weird about a little bit is the resource gathering part, because all the levels are gonna be mixed. They're not going to be like, oh, this one, this here is going to be for low levels. Oh, here is going to be for high levels. No, it's all mixed and intertwined. So yeah, you kind right. of it's going to be very hard to distinguish between who's griefing and who's not. <laughs> well, it's yeah. not so like if even if you kill a low level for like if a low level is inside a high level area, like not even a high level area, if the low level is still farming, so like there's picking on a low level and then there's killing them because they have resources. You're killing them for like, the, like you can see somebody like say like, hey that guy's probably a low level and you kill them for their resources, you're still gonna take the corruption hit. Like, that, that's still a hit you're going to take. You're still playing the game the way it's meant. And there's a difference between that but and what, bullying a low level. But what, what if, what if, if, uh, you, like... No, I think you brought up a, just another exception, where there, there is another reason hmm. to kill low levels, which is for, for resources. As you said, resources, low level resources will ideally be, uh, like, necessary throughout the game's history. So it's not just, like, low levels that need them. Okay, I wanna I wanna throw you guys a scenario. Yeah. Node A and Node B have an, have issues with each other. Node A is currently still under uh, siege protection, right? Uh, but Node B wants to declare a siege, like siege a siege as soon as possible. So now Node B decides we got to prevent them from rebuilding their defenses or gathering, you know, to weaken them till the siege. So now everybody in Node B tries to kill everything that comes out of Node A. Now here's the question. At what point is that creeping in an open world PvP game? Um, I think, like, that's why I put the reason in my, in my description. Um, that is a reason i mean i don't know how long you'd be able to keep that up but you would have so like if you're like you would have go ahead let's just say in theory they can keep that up 24 7 all right yeah i I would consider that griefing all right okay so now we get into into a situation or into into an area where it's not really about uh real griefing rather about how do you defend what you're doing in what sort of argument and what sort of argument are you going to use and can the other person counter that argument which is stupid no all right so it's an open world game where pvp is one of the main pillars having the whole grieving discussion is i think it's situational yes it is very and it's one of those things where like you probably only want to take action on the most extreme cases Yes. Uh, where there's even like abuse of mechanics because like the corruption system itself is designed so that it you can't even grieve forever. You you'll get yeah. to a point and you'll have to take the hit. Um so 
No, the yeah, thing, the it thing might be the most just... extreme situation where like someone actually needs some the a GM needs to step in and issue a ban for the reading. thing that just pisses me off to a level where I'm like I read some of the answers in 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 the in the forum post and read some conversations on the Discord and I'm like, yo, have you guys even like bothered checking up on how Ashes is supposed to work? Because it, it, it's mostly, again, wishful thinking. There are people out there that think they can just farm without any issues of open-world PvP 24-7. And, and people usually tend <laughs> to forget that, and that resources are scarce. Yeah. Like, you <laughs> won't have a fixed place of resources. Yeah. Well, it's also just, like, it's been mentioned earlier on that, like, the half the reason the resources are in the open world and all the things are in the open world is so that there's limited supply. So that we have, like, we have to find some way to negotiate their d- distribution. If it's direct combat, cool. If uh, you come to a more peaceful, um, hey, you farm it now, and then I'll farm it later, also cool. And that's uh, choosing to fight for resources is an option the game gives. That's one hundred percent what I was going to say. I was like, so a lot of this really does depend on like, like how what other options you have. A lot of people go straight to like to calling it like calling anything like griefing. Like in the scenario that BCG presented, like you're not gonna have that node that's being blocked out of resource, blocked out of build rebuilding. You're not gonna have them just sitting around. They're gonna want to fight. Like they're, that whole node is gonna want to fight. Like if you're fucking with one or two people, like at like at first it's gonna like they're gonna get annoyed, but like after a while, like they're gonna know like, hey, we all need to work. Like that whole node is trying to fuck us over. We need to go. We need to group up, and you're gonna have large scale fights over like like no like oh out open world node fights probably. It's really like a lot of this really depends on like what kind of actions can be taken, and a lot of people don't accept that. A lot of people will try to the first kind of sign of like the easiest option is to call it griefing yeah. instead of like well, trying so like, a lot of people are coming into this with just like their experience in MMOs being like wow being probably their most pvp oriented but besides that it's probably been just like <laughs> part games and games that separate uh pvp from the world or in wow's case just kind of make it pointless yeah um, that's why i feel like that whole like discussion about griefing is just I don't know. It's one of those things where it's just talking to the community. It's like yeah, a topic know, but, to keep people engaged. But but at this point, I feel like they should return to the node videos and give like an exact explanation and example on how their vision is supposed to work. Because I, I I'm not doing it anymore. But we remember how we used to try to explain how everything works to like new people. Yes. I'm not doing that anymore mm. because it's literally like a waste of time. We did that. Oh. The last time we did that was when we had that gigantic boom of uh, Lazy, Peon. Lazy Peon and Asmongold people into the Discord. Yeah. And we were trying to explain to new people, like, like and that's part of it, like, educating new, like, that's part of what I do, that's part of, like, what I said at the very beginning, is, like, know the game that you're getting into. We, like, what we were doing at that point in time was extremely necessary. Like, like educating people into what kind of game they're getting into, so we don't have people bitching and complaining, like, oh my god, this is an open world PvP game. Listen, listen, yeah, I agree with that. There's just one thing. You get tired I'm, of it? No, I, I'm like, yeah, at first, that's the first thing. I, mean, I am fucking tired of it. And secondly, <laughs> I'm, reading, I'm reading stuff from people that have been on the Discord for a good while now. And I'm like thinking, do you, have you ever even tried or read up on how the systems are supposed to work, how everything works in the game based on Steven's vision? Because I still feel like people coming in and they think that Ashes is going to be the the... the MMORPG that they want for themselves. One hundred percent, you get that. Like that's what I was saying. Is like you read it on the forums all the time. It's like, oh my god, like these cosmetics. Uh, we should have these cosmetics, or oh my god, this mechanic would like. They give examples of mechanics or raid fights or like things that 
they think would be like they would have in their perfect MMO and like would love to see in Ashes of Creation. And like the whole argument of consensual PvP versus open world PvP, that's another thing of like people not understanding like people wanting it to be how they want. People that talk on the forums or sometimes on the Discord just explain how they would want their perfect MMO not they're not explaining ashes they're not explaining ashes exactly. of creation at all at this mm. point it's 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 irritating it's just if you cannot take 30 minutes to read up on stuff there is enough videos there's enough forum posts there's a, there's a, a wikipedia page there's enough for you to read up on it like the only it's the only just... no no listen the the only freaking thing where i say this is griefing in ashes is if somebody that is not mm. associated with any guild is not associated with any any note is somewhere out fishing in the ocean and people go out of the way to go and kill them i don't know fish might be pretty valuable i might want those bluegill okay whatever 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just standing there they're just doing standing. something that is, that like you don't gain anything from killing them and yeah exactly. you're going out your exactly. way yeah, yeah. that is acceptable when it comes to grieving but anything else i can make you a custom cut argument that that is not grieving within ashes just based on the mechanics that we have or the exp or the explanations that we have for any mechanic within ashes in regards to pvp and people need to read that a lot of like so like i i kind of really want to go back to a lot of the stuff that was happening in um in alpha one alpha one they had PvP turned on. Well, actually, they had PvP turned off for like a good, for a good little bit because they didn't want people griefing the uh, well, stream sniping the uh, the, str the big streamers that they had on that that they had were showing off the game. But like when PvP was turned on, it was um, they uh, like people still bitched to complain like, oh my god, th these people are killing me in this alpha test of a open world MMO game you're like I, I and then the my I, I we still had people come into the channels and yell at us for playing the game that it's how it's supposed to be played like you're to gonna have fair, they just turned out everyone to combatant so it wasn't even like how it was when we had the normal PvP system there wasn't actually a corruption penalty but yes like, people could go purple and red I feel like it was very different that's that's a valid that's a valid excuse is that the corruption mechanics are not in the game currently so like it wasn't playing like how it was supposed to but it's an over like, like people people bitching and complaining that I'm getting killed in the A Ashes of Creation Alpha 1 test when you're going to get killed by like even with corruption people are still going to be like the first day going to be fucking wild like it's when be like People are gonna need to learn, but people, you're starting to have people that are gonna just go out and kill whoever the fuck they want. Like, you're, gonna have, you're gonna have murder hobos. I mean, to be fair, you'll call. Okay. I guess I do agree with you with the community. Yes, they're supposed to know that they're going to die eventually. Yes. But I'm not gonna name guilds, but remember that whole exploit with the dragon? Uh, when entering, uh, what's it called, siege, then killing all three dragons and they drop loots, legendary loots, that is, that's not supposed to be a thing. I mean, it and was a fucking alpha one. It was a fucking alpha one. Bro, come on. fucking alpha one. You're unable to kill dragons unless you had a big ass group. I'm just saying. Oh, are you just saying that it wasn't fair because a lot of us in yeah. a certain guild had and, all and to get and to get those legendary gear that's not in siege mode, it takes you a way longer time. You had to, to still kill. Them. You start to kill the open world dragons and get a lot. Like, get all the loot from them. I get a lot yeah, from but, them. And they had the crafting in the game. Like a lot of that. You could get in the game. Yes, we had it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know uh, you're, you're naming off Envious right now. Envious had, like, in the game, in the alpha, Envious had the big bad boy uh, loot. And some of it was, like, uh, but, like, anybody can get that. Like, anybody can get that loot. Can we just agree on the fact that unless you completely go out of your way to not be an issue for anybody that sooner or later you will get 
Call the grief. And you will get in a, situ a situation where you get ki where you will get killed. Yeah. You probably should. Yeah, you're going to get killed. There's definitely ways to mitigate it. Like, for example, there'll definitely be areas in the map that are, have higher value resources that people covet, and there will be f probably a lot of fighting around there. There'll also be areas where you can probably get a single income, just not as rapidly, and it will not be as contested. You're so. gonna have people that like, so like straight up, like 100%. You're gonna have people that don't want to have to deal with life skills, like, doing life skills, and or like the uh, the um, artisan classes, and they're just like, but p like crafting's important in the game, so they need resources. They're gonna get their resources by killing. I don't know how sustainable, but we'll see. Like I think it would be more. You'll probably farm by killing mobs, PvE, and then you'll uh, trade for your gear. I don't know if try. I mean, we will see. Maybe that's a thing, but just like you're, you're just rolling the dice every time you kill someone. If you're actually going to get enough, unless you've been like following them, like wasting your time, and you know they have a lot of resources on them. But even then, you're only getting a fraction of their resources, and if but they hit you with a corruption penalty. Um, you're like that's even more time you're gonna have to spend working that off. Uh, so I, I like I know there's some people who think they'll be able to just PvP for the shit. game, but I don't think that's realistic. So if you're know. just if you're just in if you're just in an area farm uh, farming, you're just like a, like regular farming, and you see someone else is walking around, you you fight them, you yeah, you, like you're a PvP or you're gonna you're gonna be PvP, you're gonna like attack somebody. If you're holding a bunch of loot that you don't want to lose because you like you die, even if you're a green player, you're still gonna drop a percentage of your loot. You're you're probably gonna fight back, and by fighting back, you flag as purple, so they don't have to worry. Like that that red player doesn't have to worry about uh the, uh, that PvP or doesn't have to worry about uh getting corruption because you you're trying to defend your loot and you've already flagged yourself as purple. I mean that depends. Uh, I mean it's they don't yeah, so, sorry, they don't see. They don't have to follow you. It's just they're just attacking to attack, like, uh, attack to get exactly. to get AVP in, and then they're gonna kill you, get a percentage of your loot, and then they've made pay they've made payday. That is if they I don't do, I just... also get killed. Yes, think, honestly, and then like it, there's there's that side of it where like if you go around doing that, you then if for example, if you fight someone, kill them for your resources in a bubble. Yeah, you might come out on top in an open world where someone else can be like, oh, look, that person's a combatant. They killed that person, took their stuff, and now I can just kill them. And uh, no repercussions for me. Or hell, maybe I'll kill them before you even get a loot. And now I get the loot. And you're still hit, being hit with penalties. We'll see what happens. But I could see a thing where it, you're not just going to want to run around trying to PK people for resources now, the thing is the thing is that i want to know is um how will intrepid react when a good amount of people start bitching hey i was just out there you know farming but i got griefed because you know my guild or my note is at war with this other note but i didn't want to have anything to do with it you're gonna have they're gonna just look at the stats that's the consensual pvp that's the consensual pvp uh, stuff that's on the forums is like People that don't, people that just want to go out and farm, but don't want to have to deal with, oh, I got attacked by, the, like, even, like, randomly, like, you could be farming, like, most of the time, not have to worry, but, like, like that one time that you go out and farm, and then you, you die, like, you either get attacked, I'm not gonna say you're gonna die, but, like, then you get, at you get attacked, you find, you're gonna find that annoying because you're not, like, in the mood, where you're, you're there to farm, you're not in the mood, to, you're not in the mood to fucking... Um, do that uh, to PvP, and so, or you die and you lose your resources, and then you're gonna be annoyed and complain that you lost your resources. Uh, that's my that's what I'm saying. Is like know the guy, like, know the game you're getting into. Yeah, that's the thing. And that I mean, I I feel like sometimes they're taking like they've been stern with their stances on this, but they're also kind of almost going like the boil the frog approach where they're just like they've been stern with certain statements but 
I wonder if there's just another approach that would better prepare people because there, there's definitely people who think of this as more traditional. Uh, like they don't have Steven's background in MMOs. They, they have the more Western theme park background. So this idea of PVP is kind of alien to them. And with the, their only experiences with it being in games like Western games where it serves no purpose, um, it's kind of hard it's, not, it's, it's like reframing the game for them might put them in a better spa- state of mind where it's not just they're not just comparing this against other MMOs. They're seeing this as a new game that plays differently and will approach it as such. Yeah, you're 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 right. Um, I just think it's fucking silly and stupid. <laughs> I, I do too. This is lot. So like, I, I just constantly keep using the argument of know the game you're getting into. Um, you're right, Stackerson. People aren't like are either this is their first going into uh, MMO or they're more used to PvP being disconnected. Are fine. Disconnected who from um. Get another MMO. They're fine. They're like, okay, this is a game. They understand the rules. It's the people that like have come from the other the ones where MMOs, pvp is disconnected from the rest of the game that it's just like and i it's hard to say how many of them there are it's kind of like probably not it's just an outspoken minority but it's still like it's hard to tell if if it's something that they will never like or if it's something that uh yeah. maybe if they don't look at it as the same games they've played in the past they'll like it more I'm more worried about how Intrepid will take or how much feedback they will take from that one forum post. I think they would look at stats. If they, like, that would be the way to do it. You would not, and then if people are being outraged, they would, like, post, okay, this is what we are seeing. This is, to, to us, this is acceptable. This is how the game is supposed to be played. People are only killing people when there's a benefit, which that's the reason why there's these limited resources. And then if it's like people are killing people when we don't want to want them to be, and it's at a higher rate than we expected, okay, we're going to change the penalty around. Maybe do something to de- de- incentivize it more. And then like it's probably will also be vice versa. If no one's killing people for resources, they're like, okay, well, we need to do something so that people yeah, actually see. fight. One thing to keep an eye on is when... Okay. I, I agree with the second part. The first part, I'm more like... I can... Like I said, unless you are somebody that is not affiliated with any node, any guild, or whatever, I can just fabricate and make something up in an argument that would just you know verify my reason for, for me killing you. So... You know what I mean? I mean... I want you to be. Salty. I guess. I guess. No, one hundred percent. You're gonna have people that you're gonna have people to do that. And like I was, like I was trying, I was trying to say is like, um, you're going to, like the thing to watch out for are the people that are doing it to get people salty, just troll, and then the guilds that are gonna be like going in saying like, hey, we want to make this guild disband, so kill their members over and over, or we're trying to get this specific member, uh, this specific other player to just stop playing the game. Yeah, right. see, like that, I was about to go there. I was about to go there because now we're the good stuff. If because you have those. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just say this: If you keep killing somebody with the goal of them stop playing the game, where do you draw the line? They don't. They they they're, they're just having fun. Like they don't see the long term damage that they're doing to the game. Like. You're stopping him, like stopping somebody from playing. The, like playing the game the way it's supposed to be played is one thing. Well, like with PvP, it's open world PvP. There's a difference between that and like griefing somebody to the point to where like you want them to stop playing the game. Like you're either trolling them, you think it's funny, whatever, or you just want that person to stop playing the game. There's a big difference here because of the fact that like doing that stuff hurts the game. Like your okay, but where do you draw the line? What do you mean? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's say you're in a guild. I'm in a guild. 
And our goal is, is that we're going to go, we know we're going to go, we're going to, you know, fight at some point. Uh -huh. What if we, uh, my guild decides to just constantly go after your guild's leadership? Make them really salty. Make them really like, hey, like, I don't want to play right now. That's part of the game. That's part of the game. Where do you where do you draw the line the if you constantly <clears throat> gang somebody, right? Where do you draw the line and make them stop playing the game? Because the line, the, the, the line. Too many variables of the situation where, like, th this is kind of the thing that's like, what if ever, what if one guild takes over the whole world? Well, it's like you're gonna have people that are targeting guild leaders guild leaders are the guild, like main people are guild leaders or hot topics people like that like the same thing as streamers streamers and guild leaders the whole guild politics thing like they're hot tar targets you're gonna be having them like oh we should go after this person or like big influencers in the in the community we should go after those people um the the line bcg is that like Spawn camp, they're like, oh, you killed them, and then I got twenty of my guys around, like all the spawn points to kill you when you spawn when you spawn back in. Spawn camping somebody into to the point to where uh, I, that's the line. You're intentionally like griefing them at that point. Like you're griefing somebody by spawn by by, by sticking to it, like they knowingly staying on a spawn point and killing them as soon as they respawn. Yeah, beyond yeah. that, I think you'd have to kind of look at the situation. Um, and like, what's I don't know. I think you're controlling it too much, and there's more variables. No, like, with well, yeah, you're making a scenario, but it's also like that's a scenario that's part of the game, though. Discourage with the with the corruption system, where it's like, okay, oh, you've killed me a time, but now you have all these penalties. I, my guild is now coming. Uh, they're going to be killing you, and you are red, and I will be getting like your shit's going to be breaking. Some of your gear is coming to us. True. That's like, another thing. Great, great. You said that, Stackerson. Like when if everyone's, if someone's camping DA, which I mean, DA would probably never give someone corruption. But like, say it was so bad, DA gave someone corruption. Uh, like, how many of us are going to like come and kill those people? I mean, if DA knows he's being targeted, like straight out, like so, like anybody, anybody, like if you like, th th that's another point. Like what I was trying to say is like that's another point that like. It's an MMO. It's supposed to be a group aspect. If you feel like you're being targeted, then call some of the boys uh, or girls. Uh, call some of your guilds, uh, guild members, and have them come help you in a fight. Like how? Like, like, like yeah, just help them. Ha have them help you fight the fight. And then I think another thing that needs to be brought up here is there's like a guild war system which will actually have like a bigger impact on a guild than I think just campaign their leader. Yeah. The objective, like, I think that's like, yeah, sure, you can try to camp someone, but you're going to be building up your corruption. You're going get, to get a penalty, possibly lose stuff. Like, like, we'll see what happens, but it's hard to tell if that's like the most effective way of shutting down a guild is through the corruption system. I mean, we've seen in we've seen in other games that like this is not like this example that's being given of hunting down guild members to make them like either make the guild disband, members leave said guild, or make the game make people quit games. This isn't just like something new that we pull. I'm like uh, I'm or the rest of us are pulling out of our asses. It's this has happened in other past games of like griefing somebody to the point uh, griefing members to the point where like oh I don't want to be an envious anymore because I put the target on my bag oh we need to disband because um, because of that same reason or I'm getting griefed so much that like uh, I'm, I'm just an influential member of the community, community or uh, I've made the wrong person mad or this person just like thinks it's funny to make it uh, grief me so much to the point to where like I have to stop playing the game. Like, like that's that's happening past games. Like it's not. Well, yeah, but it's also happening games. I mean, which games has it happened in, and what was the penalty for killing that person repeatedly? Like that's something I think that really needs to be factored in. Is it's like, yeah, you killed me, but now you have corruption, and if you continue to kill me. You're going to get more of it, which is something you have to work off, and you're also going to be less effective if you have to engage in any other, any other PvP. Mm -hmm. um, in other games, I don't think we've had such a like combat affected system as corruption. Yes. So it's kind of like 
what are you doing to yourself? And is there other avenues that would achieve your goal better that aren't quite as like direct, like attacking one person over and over? You're one hundred percent right. Uh, that there, are there like go through all your options first. Is like the like the, like the main thing is like go through all your options. Like there, there are already in-game things to like kind of like, deter that, like the corruption system and stuff like that. You can call on friends. It's an ammo. Uh, it's also like how many of us? Like if I see someone corrupted, killing someone, like I'm going to go kill him. Yeah, it's like that's what we saw in like. Earth Alpha, when PvP was on, if someone went red, they were dead. Yeah. It was like, oh, look, there's a red guy. I'm going to go kill him. Free PvP. Yeah, 100%. There's that, too. Like, there's a lot this hat had to go through. And, like, just to say, if it does get to the point to where, like, you're, you feel like you're getting griefed to the point of having to quit the game, you can report them to, to the mod or to, to the mods. They'll look at the numbers. They'll say, like, hey, this is griefing. And then they should, uh, take action like like the moderation team that that's also the, the back thing is it's like they will be recording all this shit and it'll be like it'll, there'll be logs and they'll be able to see okay this is happening this is a little extreme dish out a warning or a ban this happened 15 times 15 times <laughs> yeah but then i'm like yeah hey he he's in this guild and we are about to go to war i need myself damn it from you know stuff so I, I mean that to some degree that's kind of valid um i mean we will find rules around spawn camping like i think that that's a that's a touchy subject where like i know a lot of games kind of want to just deter that like if you're you're killing someone at a respawn point that's a no-no I mean, yeah i mean like the, the thing that just interests me is when do people draw the lines? That's the thing. Where, the, where does Intrepid draw the lines? I mean, I, I guess what you've also kind of approached is like, at what point does it kind of become cyberbullying? So. Um, I mean, yeah, because you can always say like, hey, listen, you're part of this guild. Nothing personal, but, you know, we're about to go to war with you. So we're going to try to prevent you guys from doing your thing, get better and get stronger. Because you know smart warfare. Yeah. If you if you don't want to get you know fucked. I mean, I guilt. think I think the thing would be like it would make sense if you caught them at locations where they were trying to get stronger, but just not allowing them to play the game. Period. That might be. Uh, don't spawn camp. That's where I think I draw the line. Is like like the spawn camp. The spawn camp is the only like real griefing that I think I could actually consider. Uh, I could consider uh, that. Spawn camping. <laughs> but it's like it's the best thing ever. <laughs> but like that's that's straight up just like the reason it's the best thing ever is because like it's just straight up trolling somebody. It's not trolling. Listen, you're in the other team. I'm gonna fuck with you any way I can. <laughs> Yes, and there are ways around that of like, hey, I'm fucking like, like, like you said, we're going to war, our guilds are going to war, like, but like, I'm not just gonna let you, I'm, I'm gonna be in Discord with the boys and say like, hey, I'm getting fucked over here, I need some help. And then they come help out, and then we got, and then we got like a guilty guild kind of fight going on, or like a group B group fight going on, um... Or you're getting, or like, if it's you, you're just fucking, or if you're just a single other person, just fucking with that singular person, and he goes to the boys, then it's just like a hunt, like, you're getting hunted at that point. Or you have more people, to, or you have like a 1v5 going on, like, well, however you, maybe you're enjoying it. But, um, yeah. yeah, there are other things that go on into that. And if that person feels like you're trolling them to the point of it, become, of, it, of its overdone and gr and like straight up griefing then then they can and they don't have anybody that can that they can go to they can go to a mod at that point like and then then the mod can sort it out i feel kind of sad for you guys why well you know as soon as the a gets ganked one time he's gonna root scream for the entire guild to come over <laughs> oh he better not <laughs> he better freaking <laughs> He needs a freaking. Uh, he's he's not like that. He's he's very much like PvP. I give more like he's getting kinked by like five people. Then yeah, he's gonna call over like five other like five people he's in the Discord with. And if it turns into like twenty five people, like twenty five people over there, he's gonna 
watching. I'm aware. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah it's from my experience with Arcage, I didn't play New World that much, but with Arcage, yeah. He, I don't remember him oh. calling for people when he was having PvP. No, he enjoys these things. Like, if people go after like he loves the going out, people going after him. I think that will happen. No, not, like, it's not, not like DA, but in, in general, how often do you guys think that a griefing attempt or something similar will actually end up in like a large-scale battle? Without anything to read the game besides like, hey, yeah, we kicked your ass. It's hard to oh, say. Man. Just because with the corruption mechanic, it is like a thing where, oh, you killed me. Congratulations. I have this little penalty. You have corruption. Enjoy yourself. It'll probably, like, so like a lot of like, the large scale group fights will probably start off as like, so like one group, one person versus another person is like trying to fight over resources or whatever, like, like, a, like a mob spot, or one node is fucking over with another node, and like, like in a small way, and then it blows up to this big group fight versus this big group fight, and to the point to where it's so big but it has absolutely no benefit. I imagine that'll probably happen quite frequently okay do we have anything else when it comes to griefing no all right any other topics you guys want to talk about because i think we're kind of close to being done cosmetics okay we're cosmetics done. more than meets the eye this week's co this month's cosmetics aren't that we bad looking say the same fucking thing about cosmetics but it's the news and if we don't go through it this time we're gonna have to go through it next time how about we don't talk about cosmetics at all it's a talking point is it yes it's what's kept us alive this long i mean is it talking about for like the past four years other than cosmetics uh, we could talk about the fact that Faisal has dinosaurs on his shelf. He's had dinosaurs. He's had Transformers and all kinds of other figures on his shelf. I mean, those are dinosaurs, right? I mean, that's Ryuk, I see. He had a... I don't yeah, know what dinosaur mark. you're looking at. I don't know, what's the thing next to the anime thing? The thing next to the thing yeah, next to the other thing. This? Yeah, no, yeah this? what is that? Yeah. That's a, that's oh, that's it's a fucking forward. T-Fighter. Oh, yeah. okay, never mind. Okay. Hello? <laughs> Okay. You still look like a hobo with it. I'm revoking your nerd card. Fuck you, dude. Look tell him to get a better fucking camera. <laughs> He's talking to you. Uh, furry. Oh! I can say that because the are using me for my avatar, so go fuck yourself. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how that works, but okay, goddamn. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk about fucking cosmetics. He wants to kill time until we just go over the time frame and don't want to talk about cosmetics. Let's just go to the cosmetics. Or we can just, just pull up the cosmetics and, and we'll talk oh. and basically we'll move from the dungeon. Fuck. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, there we go. Feather Watcher. Uh, I think oh. it's a sniper. It's it's a it's a fucking telescope necklace no, thing. No, no, it's, it's a sniper. It has, it's a, it's, it has the legs on the bottom. It has a tribe. <laughs> uh, Stackerson, what are your thoughts? It's a necklace, right? I believe so. That's kind of neat. That's different. I haven't seen that in a lot of other games. It would be cool to see that how that's going to look on a character. Wait, what are we talking about? I guess cosmetics. My big thing about it is it's like it's the accessory scary. right now. Uh, this yeah. is gonna be a necklace. It's gonna be an accessory, and I believe it goes around your neck. Yes. Then I don't understand uh, the theory. It would metal look things. way cooler if it's on your side rather than a necklace, for sure. <laughs> right. Or unless, I mean, uh, I don't. They could have made it smaller. That like the big part, a little bit smaller, where you it just like compact and it actually becomes like a circular necklace. That would be cool. I'm making assumptions here. I'm not saying it's actually a necklace. I'm making an assumption based on the chain. The chain uh, looks I'm, like it would I'm, go around your neck. I'm making adjustments to your assumption. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fancy. That's all I'm gonna say. Fancy. The uh, glitterling. Uh, the pet. Uh, Looks fancy. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I'll be interested to see what it looks like when it's a 3D model. I'm not a big fan of it right now. Like the idea of a glass crystal dog, like crystal fox or wolf, uh, little dog thing. Interesting. I like the idea. The concept art, I'm not a big fan of. When it's the 3D model, I think I think it'll probably look better as a 3D model. Right now, I'm not a fan. I think it's okay. That's all I can give you, honestly. Stackerson. Um. <laughs> It's not my thing, but it looks cool, and it's different. Mm. The Forborn Nightwing. I love the fuck out of this. Uh, it reminded me, it reminds me a lot uh, of the um, one of the things from Dauntless. I don't know what they're called. Behemoths. I know exactly what the fuck you're talking Yeah, they're called behemoths and Dauntless. Yeah, I know the, exactly the, what the fuck you're talking about. The, the, owl, the, the face, but it's like an owl, so just maybe it reminds me of owls. Uh, it's an owl raptor thing. An owl chocobo. I'm going to call it an owl chocobo. I think an all owl like, T Rex. An all owl T Rex? I know why it's raptors because of the model and the skeleton. I want an owl turtle. Owl turtle. I like I like the idea. I, I love owls, by the way. But I love the idea of an owl griffin, like owl. The, this owl raptor thing looks cool. I love the fuck out of it. Uh, the other owl shit we've gotten so far, I love an owl turtle. I don't even know what the fuck that would look like. I know that's the thing. Like a turtle with. Gonna lie. Yeah. The eyes are creepy as hell. It comes from, like, every horror movie. <laughs> it comes from every horror movie. action movie that goes hard. Sackerson, what's your thoughts on this? I like it. It's another one of those, like, mashes that... Well, it's not even really a mash. It's kind of cool that, like... I mean, some dinosaurs evolved into birds. So it's kind of like a... Just a cool take on, like, a... I don't know. I guess I want to call it another one of those mashes. It's it's cool. I like it. It's a monster mash. If 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 I ever turn a corner in a dungeon and I see that, that's good. <laughs> it's I you just see the glowing eyes. Just the glowing eyes. It says, <laughs> and I'm like dead. Who to to motherfucker? <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything regarding the next cosmetic. Uh, okay. one single crystal yeah. gazer's remnant. It's supposed to be pure eye, and like it's like a small like branch, or like, like outcast of the pure eye. Um, like like these people like have harnessed like some kind of weird power. The elves. Yeah. So like this is that like these are supposed to be forest elves that have some kind of, some like harness some weird power of glass and crystal, and like. They look like they're part of a cult. Like I, 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 from what I understand from the description, I, I believe they are part of a cult. Well, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not. I don't I like this cosmetic. Elves. Like, look at me. You really think I enjoy elves? It it reminds me of uh, Narnia. I'm not gonna lie. This reminds you of Narnia? Yes. Which one? The first, the second, or the third? Are you talking? I think he's talking about the first. I think so. Like I. I think I can kind of see where you're going with it. Like the like the the witch, she had like the ice kind of clothes going on mm -hmm. for her ice palace. Yeah. I can kind of track where you're going with it. I don't 100 percent agree. Like not, it's, it's not a hundred percent. I just like it reminds me of. It. Yeah. For some reason, it just does. I can follow. I, I follow with that thought. Or I follow with that thought process. All elves are trash. Stackerson. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's different. Um, <laughs> for a second there, I thought Sorry. I was going to say, yes, all else are trash. I concur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know. It's one of those ones where, like, I actually half want it. So, like, normally I don't like robes, but I kind of think this is cool. It doesn't look like a robe, though. Like, it's... It kind of reminds me of one of those like outfits people wear to like these all white rave parties. Yeah. I imagine 
it would probably glow like that. It, this would probably be uh, something you'd wear to a fucking rave party. Yeah, like I could totally see that. Just move on because we're talking about a fucking elf costume. Like, seriously. Uh, prismatic icebreaker. The boat. Um, it's kind of plain for me, but yeah. it's another boat. It is extremely plain looking. I, I imagine what'll sell this is a lot of the effects that go on when this finally gets a 3D render. Uh, when we actually get that, I don't know. It is right now is extremely plain. I, I imagine this will probably. Be, I imagine this will get a lot of effects when it when it comes to 3D rendering, and you'll be everyone that doesn't get it will be will love the 3D, will love the effects and stuff like that, and wish they bought it. Right now, it's extremely plain. Super plain. I mean, I imagine it just kind of goes with the same people who like this cosmetic. Like it, it's kind of like instead of it. I mean. I guess I have more edgy tastes, so like it doesn't really get my fancy. But I could see someone who likes the whole elegant elf aesthetic would like this. I imagine like so like these sails will be all glass and crystalline and shine like like shiny. They'll have like effects going on with them, and then you'll also have like this energy effect that's going on on the sides right here that'll be going on as well. I imagine effects will be going out the ass with this with this cosmetic, and you'll you'll. Get a lot of people that are envious that they didn't buy it because it looks so plain in the concept art. Yeah, but mm. like I said, like Stegman said, it needs to be more edgy. It doesn't need to be. It's fine. We need uh, different packs for different people. It's just do we, not I my mean, pack. I mean, do we really? Because if that's the case, we need more edgy stuff. Because we we got more fancy, smancy elf stuff than we have edgy stuff. Our last yeah, like, few have been uh, ships, brutal. right? We haven't had a Caravan skin in a little bit. A brutal berserker cosmetic set with dead people, dead skulls. Yeah, that would be awesome. Next week, next month is February, so we'll probably get like a Valentine's Day set. So you're probably not gonna get an edgy set next month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's move to the next one. I have things to do. The ley line. Tor torture. Ore? Ore? Yeah. I, think I kind of want this. I want this. I do too. I, this is this is really cool to me. Um, it reminds me of like Destiny Two for some reason. I don't. I don't. Part. I don't follow part. that. I just recently downloaded and played Destiny Two again because you know as a supreme demon or whatever, I need to do stuff and kind of reminds me of Destiny Two. Yeah, I like this a lot. Uh, probably one of my. Favorite co freehold cosmetics we've gotten in a while. We had a confirmation from uh, Margaret. It can be applied to a house. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I imagine it would be a house. I wouldn't. I, yeah, like, yeah, like, but I, I see. It. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. We finally we, we got confirmation that like what this goes to. Even though I, yeah. this is one of the ones I could, I could automatically guess what the fuck it would go to. I'm wondering if like a bunch of these can be applied to houses, but then they could also be applied to um, like certain uh, progression, profession, artisan class structures. Um, like if if I remember right, this has something to do with oh, this is like a scholarly thing. I guess I'm not sure quite what that would be. Maybe I'm doing I mean, dumb. If, for some reason, I thought I, there was I like can, an artisan class that matched this. I can see this going for a forge, really. Okay. I just noticed that this thing is actually really, really big. This thing is fucking huge. Like, you see that little oh, small right. door right there? Exactly. And then, like, all of these are arm. Yeah, these are arms that you can go into. Like, like this is a, like a uh, hovering pool that you can walk over towards. These are like the windows. These other buildings. I thought this would be like a guild hall. Like from the side. <laughs> oh, because this is the flipping door. This little dark yeah, spot. Yeah, that's a little that's dark spot. the door. door. This, part, this thing oh, is gosh. huge. This thing is fucking yeah, huge. Yeah, I never thought this would be like a single like house for the freehold. Like. For freehold. This is freehold building cosmetic. It doesn't like we, I, as far as we know, we have not gotten a guild cosmetic. And this, if, and if this turns out to be a guild cosmetic, I will be. I will have words for intrepid. I will have words for intrepid because they did not market it as such or tell people like, hey, this is for this is for a guild. I mean, a lot of the. I'm pretty sure because this is this is like. Let's not forget, this is concept art. Yes. So. 
it's a concept it's not the finished thing so i'm pretty sure <laughs> they have the said there will be a smaller and <laughs> way more elvish looking so. they have said with a lot of the freehold skins that like it'll be as shown uh for a lot of stuff but there's also like some things that i've had to get clarification on like, when when, uh, when it comes to um things that look like they have basements or other other, sh other shit so like i don't you're, you're probably right we'll have to wait until see when this when we finally start getting 3d renders of freeholds whether what this ends up looking like how big this section up being but based on the concept art this thing is fucking huge and i don't foresee it being a guild i i don't foresee it being a guild uh, guild hall if it does i will I, I won't have a problem with the cosmetic itself i will have a problem with intrepid for not marketing it uh, for not saying when they were selling it that hey this is a guild this is a guild hall cosmetic Right, we will see. The same thing that I ha always have problems with the cosmetics is that like we don't have the information available to us that I believe we need to when making the informed purchases of these cosmetics. And making informed purchases was well, my biggest fucking thing with the cosmetics. Alright. Ah, uh, that, uh, that's it for the uh, for the cosmetics. And that's... We... We'll be back uh, in two weeks, which is the February 6th. February 6th. All right. Okay. Cool beans. See you later, peasants. Wee! Wee!